You know, it says in the Bible, in Matthew 19, verse 14, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of heaven belongs. If we were to view life as an unfolding story, what would you consider your most important accomplishments? Well, they would be the things that you have worked really hard for, but also they would be the times that you have set aside for important work to do something really important, like spending time with a child or an elderly adult. I had an incredible experience last night before this taping. I went to Pete Middle School in Conroe, Texas. Everyone was graduating from the eighth grade. My granddaughter, Savannah Beck, and many of you know her because she's been on so many of our cruises, and you've met and spent time with her. Well, she lives with me, and I was at the school last night, and she was the secretary of the class, and she gave a speech, and she did a great job. I recorded it. And then they had the awards ceremony, and we were sitting there, and at the end, they had the biggest award yearly that the school gives. It's the William Pete uh, Award, n uh, named after the man that the school is named for, uh, a very successful physician that had many years giving his life uh, in service in that way. And I was listening to the facts about the man, and then they named the child, and they, they said uh, that this award was going to Savannah Beck. Well, I'll tell you, I practically had an out-of-body experience. I mean, it was totally unexpected by everyone, including her. Now, she's always been an A student, and she's always gone the extra mile, but what an evening that was. And also, it'll be something that I remember for the rest of my life. And I will also remember the times that I've spent time with uh, my mother, you know, on our cruises before she passed. I would always insist that she come on our cruises. And these things are the real accomplishments in life. Well, the way that you treat people may be the most important and inspiring part of your life story. Because you care for others, you love with a love that, that binds them to, to you and, and them to uh, uh, a knowledge of love and how to pass it on. And because you care, you take extra notice of friends and strangers alike, and you appreciate the living examples of God's creative power and glory. Yes, you care. I know you do. You're watching this. You're that type of person. And because you do, a whole world of wonder and surprise, positive surprise, opens up before you.